A natural marvel, the purest white bitter melon variety we know of, Junpaku bitter melon reminds us of the elegant white pearls found off the coast of Okinawa. The Japanese proverb, yoyaku wa kuchi ni nagashi, literally, good medicine tastes bitter in your mouth, perfectly sums up bitter melon, or as it's known on the Japanese island of Okinawa, goya. Goya, Mamordica charantia, originated in the tropics of South Asia. It's believed to have made its way to China in the 15th or 16th century, and then on to Japan in the Edo period. It's thought that the word Goya derives from the Chinese word Kugwa, which means gourd in English. The name Nigaudi, or bitter melon, was officially recorded in 1713 in Okinawa's Yukukoku Yoraiki, a topographical journal compiled by the royal government of the Yuku Kingdom. It was featured in many recipes on the southern part of Okinawa and on the island of Kyushu. Bitter melon has many names, including balsam pear, bitter apple, and bitter gourd. In India, it's known as Kerala. In Sri Lanka, it's Sinala. Depending on where you are in Japan, you'll also find it called Nigakori, Togudi, Tsududeshi, or Gora, demonstrating just how widely it's embraced across Asian cuisines and cultures. There are many varieties of bitter melon, and as its name implies, it packs an astringent punch. While it can be an acquired taste, like coffee or hops, it's also rather addictive for those who love its flavor. The compounds cucurbitacin, which is also present in cucumbers and melons, and mamerdicin lend Goya its bitter flavor. They are also part of what makes it so good for you. Bitter melon is a nutritional powerhouse with its antioxidant, antimicrobial, and anti-cancer properties. It contains high levels of vitamin A, B, C, iron, fiber, and potassium, as well as minerals like calcium, phosphorus, and magnesium. It also contains charantin and polypeptide B, a hypoglycemic protein that helps regulate blood sugar, and it's been extensively studied for its promise as a natural treatment for diabetes. In addition, laboratory studies have shown that bitter melon extract kills certain kinds of cancer cells. Ayurvedic and traditional Chinese medicine use bitter melon for its blood purifying and detoxifying qualities. It's also used as a cooling agent for the treatment of edema, water retention, and for supporting the liver, gallbladder, and kidneys. Its bitterness is an appetite stimulant, which is especially good in the heat of summer. Shirogoya, white bitter melon, is milder than its green counterparts. Junpaku, which means pure white, Goya melon is our favorite for its pearly white color and exceptionally mild taste. Unlike other kinds of bitter melon, it's not necessary to rub it with salt or boil before cooking it, and it can even be eaten raw. Junpaku Goya melon is a staple of the Okinawan islands of Japan between the East China and Philippine seas. Writer and educator Dan Butner has identified Okinawa as one of five so-called blue zones where people consistently live beyond a hundred. Though there are many reasons for Okinawans' famously long and healthy lives, diet is key. The traditional Okinawan diet is high in soy products, vegetables like bitter melon, sweet potato, cabbage, and daikon radish, and goes easy on meat and fish. Borrowing from traditional Chinese medicine, Okinawan culture regards food as medicine. In fact, white bitter melon is described in the Okinawan dialect as nuchi kusui, or life medicine. Bitter melon is a fabulous addition to stir fries and soups. It can be steamed, fried, or stuffed like a squash. Its bitterness makes it a great addition to spicy curries. Whip it into a super nutritious smoothie or shave it thin and use it in salads or for snacking. 
We love to make a refreshing summer drink by blending it with ice, a touch of lime juice, and a bit of agave. It cools the body and the soul. On Okinawa, it's the main ingredient in Goya Champuru, a stir-fry made with egg, tofu, and in modern times, pork. In Taiwan, white bitter melon is used in ice cream and other desserts. Interestingly, the bitter melon does sweeten as it ripens. When the fruit is mature, a bright red sack forms around the seeds. The seed pulp of Junpaku reminds us of sweet cherry candy, and it's the best of any bitter melon we've tried. The thick fruit of Junpaku averages 8 to 10 inches long. Its vines are prodigious, so trellising can make it easier to manage. Plant Junpaku in the late spring or early summer, as it loves warm weather, and harvest it in late summer or fall, when the fruit turns from green to white. Thanks so much for watching Seed Stories. We love bringing you the backstory on these amazing varieties. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you won't miss a single episode.